Tay Wirtz on 9 1. Yes, Nelson Rockefeller called up. He wants to get in this act and send me a long wire. Uh, Bobby Kennedy is also called. So, what you better do is talk to Senator Kennedy and tell him that uh, this is Lindsay's problem and tell him what this idea is as you see it and that. Uh, uh, we don't have any uh, small business money. They're talking about they want small business loans and veterans loans and housing loans. And what they want to do is transfer their frustrations and their hopes to somebody in the federal government. Sure. And you ought to tell them that we're willing and we're anxious to be of any help that we can, that uh, you don't recommend a special session of the legislature or a special appropriation of the city council, but uh, they can do it specially just as much as we can. And they want us to declare it a major disastrous area immediately. So I told them within an hour I'd have a man to call them back. So I think you ought to talk to Frank Dryden of Buford Ellington over at the uh, over at the Office of Emergency Management. Then talk to Gene Foley over at Small Business, see what his setup is, what he could legitimately do. Talk to the veterans housing people, uh, veterans loans, see what they could do. That's drier over at his shop and see if uh, uh, what Kennedy thinks we ought to say. He's he's belly aching because he says he's got a New York senator and they're trying to see which one can get the most money for, for New York. And that uh, uh, I said, no, nah, I'm not going to get in. He said, you sent me a Democratic senator into New York. You sent him in here. And I said, no, nah, I haven't sent anybody anywhere. But we'll, uh, uh, don't get me involved in personalities. But uh, find out best you can from the executive people what our limitations are, what we can do, and how we think we ought to do it, and then send them over to their offices there in New York, small business or, or the, the things without bringing it into the White House, uh, veterans housing in New York, or small business in New York, or loan in New York, and uh, you and uh, Senator Kennedy, after you talk to the executive people, agree how we ought to handle Rockefeller. And you call him back if you can within the next couple of hours. I told him that I'd try to get you in the next hour on it. He won't send a wire. Who, Kennedy or? Uh, Rockefeller. Yeah, Rockefeller. Right. But I want to point you, since you've gone up there and we're in it, uh, to uh, talk to uh, uh, Driver Veterans Administration as to what he can do on one piece of paper so you can look at it and tell uh, what poverty can do, what. Uh, uh, small business can do, that's what they have in mind. Small business, what housing can do. And, uh, Excuse uh, housing H, uh, this just be HHFA. I guess so. Uh, that's what he started reading his wire when I stopped him. He was going to get the wire and say that we'd come up and hadn't done anything. Now he wants to demand that we do these under, that first we declare a disaster area, find out if we can and if we should. That's number one. He's governor, he's got to request it. He's ready to request it, wants to request it. I doubt that we ought to make it a disaster area on this. I think that includes tornadoes and uh, storms and stuff, but it may be. And find out from uh, Frank Dryden and Buford Ellington uh, what their judgment is about it, if they got that kind, could they certify it? Is he, could it do, be done legally? And in the meantime, while you got them working and driver and veterans administration working and uh, 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 Gene Foley over at the Commerce uh, working. Uh, be sure you coordinated with Bobby Kennedy uh, and maybe the head of the House delegation. I would think uh, uh, Seller. Yeah. Seller and Kennedy, so the Democrats touch base. Maybe Powell, so that uh, you've got some people that will, uh, will pull uh, Rockefeller off of us if he gets on us. And uh, let them know what he's asking and what he's going to do. and. And here's what they ought to do under our setup. They ought to go see the veterans loan, and it's at 47 Fifth Avenue or 1419 Smith Young Tower or Al Smith Building, whatever it is, and give them these addresses. And then call Rockefeller and give him a coordinated answer at my direction after you have talked to the, the Kennedys uh, and, and uh, Powell and Seller. Uh, that ought to touch that New York base pretty good. Yeah. After you talk to these other three or four, now they're getting frantic. They say the people are getting ready to blow up, and so on and so forth. And I said, well, I want to work with your mayor, Governor, any way I can. And uh, 
Uh, but I've got a security meeting here now, and they just called me and interrupted me, and you just go on and take it from there and let me or Bill Moyer or Joe Califano and all the facilities we got at your disposal, you can use them here any way you want to. All right, I'll fill in the answers to this, but the answer's got to be no, it seems to me. Oh, all of these well, I can't put money in to pay operating expenses for an outrageous wage demand. Well, I would think it what he's saying, uh, you may, after you get a background that gives you a knowledgeable working thing, you might see what it is he wants by after you talk to Kennedy, too, uh, and uh, uh, then uh, say that you'll explore it, look into it. I don't think he wants us to put any money into the city. I think what he wants us to do is to say to George Meany, Jr., small businessman uh, down in Brooklyn, that, uh, God, we got no transportation, your store's closed, you're broke, we'll lend you $500 on the Small Business Act. And I think you could do that. Mm -hmm. I, I think he says that uh, to a veteran that uh, is destitute, that you could make him a loan for his house if his right. payments have been met. He says that these employers are not paying them for not working. And these fellows can't meet their payments. Well, it seems to me that for a month they've got to postpone them and the bankers could uh, hold back. We don't have to turn over the treasury to them, but there are some things we can do and we want to do everything we can right. consistently legally. We want to be careful not to set a, an example that every time they have a strike, we become a strike breaker by running in here and putting up a lot of dough. You follow me? Yeah, I'm over here talking to George Meany now about this. He's going to call Mike Quill. And well, well, you tell him how bad it is and that the main thing though you do you contact at least three people in the federal government, uh, Gene Foley, uh, housing and veterans, uh, uh, small business, that's four. Uh, then uh, uh, you contact uh, uh, at least three people in the Congress, is Kennedy and Seller and Powell, and then uh, you contact Rockwell as quick as you can and make him tell you first what it is that he wants to do. Right, I got then it. you pick it to pieces and say, we can buy this, we can't buy that, we'll do this, we'll do that. But if you can, make him do it right in New York and make him do it through his mayor. Say the ideal way to do it is for the state not to get in here and take it away from the mayor, for the federal government not to take it away from the mayor, but have the mayor say to these folks that they can go to these various offices. Keep that ball right in his lap. He got elected. Okay, I got it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.